Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. We are joining from the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona 2024. Now I'm happy to be joined by Amal Fatke, CTO of Telenor. Hi Amal, thank you very much for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. So you're now almost six months into the role of CTO of Telenor. What are your main takeaways? You know, when I joined, I discussed with you that as a large leading telecom operator, with seven operating markets in Nordics and Asia, this was a huge opportunity to do a technology transformation. And the last six months have really come through on what I thought would be the case, which is there is tremendous potential in all of these markets. We are actually driving a lot of innovation in a lot of these countries. And so really in the last six months has been a combination of discovering what's happening, understanding what our partner and ecosystem looks like, what are the new technologies that we are starting to embed and ultimately how are we driving the business benefit of all of this in terms of really driving a very different customer experience, operational efficiency and revenue growth. So I think those are the three uh, business parameters that I'm now looking at in terms of how technology can be an enabler of. And in these six months, we actually now have a great new technology mission for our group, which is really to embed technology at the heart of everything we do in our businesses to really harness that innovation in order to drive value. Can you share more about that technology vision and what are the main areas to focus? Yeah, yeah. So we actually have now looked at our entire technology landscape and we have come up with four key programs that we believe would be game changers for us at Telenor. One is of course our AI first program, which is really to drive AI in everything we do in a bold but responsible way. But we also have cloud native, which is how can we really adopt the cloud native practices, way of working across Telenor, and at the same time drive cloud services as a growth opportunity for Telenor. The third program is really about scaling open networks. And then the final program is really about driving B2B growth. So those are the four programs that we are really looking at from a technology perspective in order to really anchor our strategy and drive our value. Can you share more about your AI-driven approach and what are the challenges you've seen in this transformation? Yeah, so our AI program that we launched a couple of months ago has really been about six pillars as part of that program. One is, of course, building data as a product and having a foundational data governance mechanism, policy, and a data model for all of Telenor, because that's when you can drive all the benefits of AI on top. And then secondly, we're really focusing a lot on human capital driving the competencies of Telenor, Third is really about ecosystems and partnerships. And I'm very excited to say that about an hour ago, we launched a global collaboration with NVIDIA, which is, as you know, a very big and a large sort of AI leader in this industry. And collaborating with them will again drive us a lot more capacity and help us drive a lot more innovation. And then, of course, we also have the other pillars around thought leadership and value realization, which is about building use cases. But all of that is anchored around our responsible AI framework which is really what this program is all about. Can you actually dive a bit more into the partnership with NVIDIA? What does it include? Sure, sure. So the collaboration with NVIDIA is really about us investing significantly in NVIDIA's infrastructure and bringing it to our facilities, starting from our data centers in Norway. And then once we have that infrastructure in Norway, our approach is to do four things. One, to really start driving sovereign cloud opportunities together, NVIDIA and ourselves, into this market. Second, to really use that as a center of excellence, as a factory to drive innovative use cases for ourselves, whether it's network, IT or systems. Third, is to externalize that innovation by working with the research community in the Nordics and empowering research and academia. And then fourth is really about driving the change of AI across the society, starting from Norway, but also other Nordic countries. And how important to Telenor and the telco community is the uh, development of next generation OSS and BSS systems? So, you know, when you look at IT and the way IT has transformed, we have to look at it in the context of AI and cloud and some of the other capabilities I talked about. Because a lot of these systems that you talked about, like digital OSS, BSS and so on, are really starting to become cloud native. So we need to start looking at SaaS models. We need to start looking at refactoring some of these applications. Because really, as we move forward, that's where we are going to get all this energy from. That's how certainly we look at IT systems at Telenor. What do you need more from the vendor community? 
I really believe the collaboration with the vendors and the ecosystem that we are starting to form is very effective. Our partnership with NVIDIA today, but also our collaboration done with others like Ericsson in the last few months and many more, highlights the fact that we don't need just one or two, we need an ecosystem. But then I urge that ecosystem to also start working with Telenor in a very different way. It's about driving growth, it's about driving a different experience for our customers, and it's less about transactional commercial models that we have been so used to traditionally. So I really look forward to engaging with the community to driving this new ecosystem in order to generate value. And finally, what are your early takeaways from this year's MWC? Uh, you have seen AI pretty much everywhere in the last few days. So that's clearly a profoundly impacting technology. So we see that quite a lot. You also see a renewed focus on looking at monetization models, whether it's APIs or driving B2B and so on and so forth. So I would say those are the two key themes that I'm seeing, monetizing 5G, but also driving AI for a profound impact. Amal, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you.